Let me paint a visual for you. I was asked to present at a 30 year anniversary for my university and the auditorium was full of a thousand people. I'm sitting in the middle towards the end of the panel. One of my peers stood up, took the mic and said, I need to address the elephant in the room. And he points directly to me. And he asked me the question, coming from the best university in the country for engineering and computer science, why did you choose to be in marketing? in a tone that made me feel that everything I had accomplished should be swept under the rug. During an interview that I had, this was 10 years ago, it was me with two men across the table from me. I was asked a question about whether I was planning on having children in the near future. And the reason is because they wanted someone consistent in the role, someone who would be there for the long term. I remember kind of processing in my head what he had asked and why he would ask that. I just remember thinking, should I answer that? I was working at a different company for five years. I was managing a very important deal for our organization. And I was called to our manager office to have a chat about the project. When I entered that room, there was someone else there, a male coworker. He was not part of this deal. I was guided to sit on the couch. I was below everybody else and that made me feel that I was already disappearing. This other person started to criticize all of my approach, our strategy, and undermining me. The manager kept looking at her. He knew what was my role in that deal, and the fact that he didn't say anything was even worse. My daughter just turned 25, and she's doing her PhD in biomedical engineering. She talked to me about being in a Women in STEM breakout session. The participants were asked who or what encouraged you for a career in STEM. And my daughter is at one. Mother encouraged me to pursue my passion. My daughter believed that her experience was normal. And the reaction she got from the women in the room, who was their own families, wanted them to take something that was a little bit easier, asking them about work-life balance when they later became wives and mothers. At that time, I really felt undermined, judged, and to be honest, attacked. Like I wanted to get out of there. I was disappointed, surprised, belittled, and then horrified that 30 years later we're here again. I would like to see more allies that are willing to step out and address when they see it in the moment. And then I'm gonna empower the women to not feel like they're the silent majority, but actually speak out and lean up. The more we share stories, the more we educate people, the more likely change is going to happen. Diversity is important because we can see things through a perspective that they haven't considered before. Your perception is your reality. But if we all listen and we all hear what someone else's experiences are like, it actually wakes us up.